A new art exhibit at Bay City Studio 23 is showcasing a variety of well-known locations throughout the Great Lakes Bay region. Yes, it involves air painting. ABC 12's Cheryl Coonan is live in Bay City this morning to show us what it's all about. Cheryl? Good morning, you guys. Yes, I'm here with Amy Gibbis, the curator of exhibits here at Studio 23, and Victoria Jandretska, a watercolor artist. You guys, thank you so much for being here this morning. So plain air painting, which is what this exhibit is, talk to me about what that exactly means. So plain air painting, translated from French, means in the open air. But essentially what that means is that we are outside and we're painting or drawing based on what we see in the world in front of us. Okay, and what makes this exhibit unique is these paintings are all paintings of various locales in the Great Lakes Bay region. Can we kind of start at the beginning and um, talk to me, uh, Victoria, you're a watercolor artist and we're going to get to your painting in a moment, but tell me about uh, what this um, exhibit means to you and how it all unfolded. Um, well, um, Studio 23 organizes um, plein air painting outings during the summer and in the spring and a lot of artists from the area get together and we paint um, in parks and in the Arboretum and at Dahlia Hill um, and it's a really wonderful community um, getting to come together and paint. So it's about the camaraderie among all of you artists but what I find interesting is that uh, the different locations for example this is yours Victoria this is at Dahlia Hill in Midland this is your piece how long did this uh, take you to create um, about two and a half hours. Okay, and then other artists painted at the same locale and we also have um, some locations in Linwood and such and talk to me if you could, um, Amy, about every artist has kind of a different interpretation. Yeah, so even though all of our artists might be working in the same spot at the same time, all of these paintings are going to be immensely different because an artist might choose to frame a scene a different way, they might be using different materials, or have just their own unique style. So even though we're all in the same spot, we're going to get a huge variety of artwork out of that. Yeah, and it's so beautiful, and we can't wait to show you so much more here from Studio 23 coming up in the next half hour. For now, live in Bay City, Cheryl Coonan, ABC 12 News.